Hello and welcome to top 10 features of Pathwave ADS 2021. ADS 2021 brings out a lot of cool features for designers to use. And on this slide, you can see top 10, which are my favorite. In the series of short tutorial videos of approximately five minutes, we will look at one feature at a time to really appreciate the power of ADS 2021. And as a designer, how can you get benefited out of it? In the first tutorial here, we will look at feature number one, which is custom 3D components in RF Pro. And I will show you a couple of examples, one with a microstip BPF with a custom model 3D shield around it. And another, we will look at PCB board with a chip inverted F antenna mounted. And both of these will be modeled using EM Pro 3D modeling package. If you are migrating to new Pathwave ADS 2021, you will have EM Pro 3D modeling package by default. So you don't need to buy anything extra as long as you have new Pathwave ADS 2021. Using this modeling package, you can create your own custom 3D models, use it inside ADS for running RF Pro FEM simulations. Pretty exciting feature. So let's look at how we can do all these. So in this case, let's first look at this 3D shield component, which I have modeled inside EM Pro 3D modeling tool. And once you model your 3D component, assign the relevant material, we can go ahead and save this design from file, save project as, and we will go ahead and save it inside the ADS workspace, which we have to use it, and inside the working library. So in this case, let me save it as EMPro underscore shield underscore demo, and I will save it as an open access project. And that's it, as simple as that. Now, before we jump to ADS, let's look at another uh, structure which we were talking about, and here it, it is a chip antenna. And we will do the same here. We will save project as, and save it as IFA underscore demo inside the same library. Now, once we have saved both of these components inside ADS, now let's switch to ADS main window. Now here you don't yet see those components. And the reason for that is the workspace is already switched on. So if you just go back and refresh that workspace or reopen that workspace, now you can see EM Pro Shield underscore demo, which is now saved as a cell and also then IFA demo. If you expand both of these cells, you can see the EM Pro component view. And if you double click and open it, it shows you the picture of the 3D structure. And again, if you have closed EM Pro, you want to edit this component, you can click here and you can open it in EM Pro. All right, so now how do we use these components? So let's take a look at the BPF example first. So here I have a band pass filter, which is a regular layout design. There's nothing fancy about it. And I already designed a shield, which I would like to place on top of this layout. So from the, the cell, which we saved just now, we can just drag and drop this layout component into ADS layout and place it at the location where I want. As simple as that. So now you have a 3D shield component placed on top of this layout. And we are ready to launch RF Pro and perform simulation. Now, before we launch RF Pro, let's go ahead and do the second part as well. In the second antenna demo, I have a board here, which has this layout. And now you can see I have a placeholder where I would like to mount this chip antenna. So we'll go ahead and take a layout and put it here inside uh, ADS layout onto the placeholder. And as simple as that, it, it takes less than one minute to set this whole integration up. Now, once we have both of these things placed, we can launch RF Pro and run simulation. Now, because it's going to take time and I have um, very little time because we intend to make five minute tutorials, I already did that. So if I open the RF Pro setup, uh, which is exactly the same assembly I just showed you, but here I already performed the simulation so that we can directly look at how the geometry looks in RF Pro and how the results turn out to be. So in this case, you can see your BPF is integrated along with this 3D shield component. And I ran two simulation, one without shield, one with shield. And now I can select both of them and compare the results very, very quickly 
here. And you can see the transmission response does get affected due to that shield component a little bit. And also the return loss gets affected due to that 3D component. But now you have the capability to go ahead and perform any custom 3D component integration into your layout. Now, similarly, if we look at the board with chip antenna, and I already set up an RF Pro simulation, computed the far field, and as soon as this opens up, we would be able to see the results. So now here you can see, you have a chip antenna mounted on the PCB at the location where we intended to mount it. And I already performed an FEM simulation. And if we look at S parameter results here, this is S11 plot showing you the antenna resonating close to 2.3 gigahertz as we expected. Also, we saved far field so we can double click and open the far field viewer. And from here, we can change the mode to gain and also change the frequency near to our resonating. You can see around 2.2 dBi gain and that's the radiation pattern. And as always, we can always play the, you know, play with the transparency of the antenna radiation pattern so that we can see radiation pattern along with our board and the chip antenna. Pretty interesting feature. I hope you like this feature number one of ADS 2021 and you will switch to Pathwave ADS 2021 for all of your design work. Thanks for watching and look forward to see you in the next feature tutorial. Thanks a lot.